In my favorite dream, my body is a grand piano, and every sound out of my stringed mouth makes everyone stop to listen. What strength it must take to speak and be recognized. What mighty sound this blood and breath of mine could be. I talk a lot, but none of it ever means anything. I'm quiet, but that doesn't mean I don't have a lot to say. I, I have, have tucked pieces, pieces of myself into, into my words, words hid my words in my throat, throat, saved all my tears for poems that don't make anyone uncomfortable. And, and before, before I know who is worthy, I have already opened my mouth for them. I had my first kiss when I was 17. A slobbery fiasco of a boy towered over me. I wiped his spit with the back of my hand, too shy to ask him to restrain the thrash of his wild tongue. I had no idea the feast other people would make of my silence. When I was 15, a group of boys told me they liked me because I was so easy to make fun of. I lost all my edges in their laughter, convinced myself my feelings weren't important in the first place. I learned to say yes and please. I learned to say thank you. I, I learned, learned to say, say nothing, nothing at all. When I was 12, I began to hate the sound of my voice, to cringe from its deep announcement. I planted its chorus in the soles of my feet and tried on different laughs, none of them musical, all of them named invisible. At 18, I tried to make myself bleed because because I thought maybe that was a real reason to crave attention. I've let split skin speak for me. Let, let my insecurity speak, speak for me. me. Let myself be rattled. I have been a home so haunted I was afraid to ask for help. My voice, a pile of splintered wood and keys, now stands in a corner of my body and tries to sing. Asks the reason for my betrayal. Says, don't, don't you remember you wanted me once? You've, you've learned to harmonize so well. You've forgotten your instrument was only made for one. When I was six years old, I knew I knew exactly the kind of woman I wanted to be. When, when I was six years old, I wanted, I wanted to be a piano. From the Italian pianoforte, meaning soft and strong. I have been a frail and failed thing that stumbled through conversations about myself. I have ignored the songbirds clawing under my skin, hushed my own blood for taking up space. I am still learning what it means to be honest, how to speak of the multitudes inside me without feeling like I'm falling apart, how to exist without doubting if I'm allowed to, how to choose myself, even when all I am is sad music and anxious bones. I will practice saying no, Rehearse self-worth until it is instinct. I will spend the rest of my life unlocking the chamber in my throat. I measure each note out of the stillness and compose. Yeah. Yeah.